researchers at the Upper Peninsula Experiment Station are studying low-stress alternatives for weaning beef calves. We're looking at uh, differences between traditional weaning methods versus those that are thought to have uh, less stress on the calves. So we've uh, been working on uh, different types of weaning programs that we hope would improve the post-weaning performance of those calves. Researchers are using a two-step method that involves putting a nose flap in the calf's nose. It blocks the calf from being able to nurse, but can still graze next to mom and have the social interaction. The second step involves moving away from its mother. The whole weaning process is not only stressful, but also endangers the calf's health. It's stressful for the calves because they no longer are nursing and don't have access to their, to their mothers. And the reason we're looking at that in particular is because uh, during that period of time, uh, when the stress is high for the calves, it's also a time that they can be exposed to a lot of pathogens and, and potentially get sick. So we're looking at how the, this, uh, these different weaning strategies affect immune function of the calves as, as well as, as their growth performance. Michigan has close to 100,000 beef cows and roughly 8,000 beef producers that utilize this important information. The Upper Peninsula Experiment Station is an ideal location for this weaning research as producers work hand in hand with researchers. Under these environmental conditions, you know, we're, we're totally different from the rest of the state. Um, I like to tell everybody we've got about six months of the year that we've got to cram a whole year's worth of work into because we typically get close to 200 inches of snow up here. So by doing that research under these environmental conditions, the producers in the Upper Peninsula should have better confidence in the work that's done. At the UP Experiment Station, we have uh, the Growing UP Ag Association helps us uh, to set research priorities, and we try to follow those at the station and try to give the, you know, the producers the information that they're, that they're in most need of.